Hello students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. See, we uh, the GATE 2023 exam for Mechanical Engineering got over before 4-5 days and uh, I have not made any videos re regarding this uh, GATE 2023 paper because there are, the, the questions are not at out, the official questions. But based on some memory based question, uh, like I have seen some 40 plus questions and based on that 40 plus questions, I'm just making uh, a video like how is the uh, basic idea of the GATE 2023 exam. Okay. So what are the things I'm going to cover this video? I'm going to talk about the basic analysis, which means how the paper, how the marks are getting distributed in the paper, like which area they have concentrated more, which area they have concentrated less and how the trend has changed from the last year okay what are the changes in the trend of the gate 2023 paper for mechanical engineering and uh, other than that i will discuss about the cutoffs etc though the, like a, a, a brief uh, a brief uh, analysis of gate 2023 me paper and the video will be short and sweet i'm not going to uh, prolong the video for one hour or one hour fast okay so i just want to make it shorter okay uh, so let us start the video So the first subject which I'm going to start with is engineering mathematics, a very important subject as we know as we know very well. And the question levels, if you ask me in this subject, it is it is not very tough to be honest. There are many questions which are like repetitive in nature, which means compared to the previous year paper, there are many questions which are repetitive, similar to previous year questions. There is a question which involved functions, which is little bit um, not I won't say it is very new, but it is a question which combining that modulus functions, etc. It is a good question, but complex uh, complex variable. There is a question like analytical function, very basic question. Vector. There is a question related to uh, surface. That is uh, the line integral, very simple question. There is a there is a question related to D, uh, Cauchy Euler's equation. As we know that if there was a variable coefficient. There is a question from differential equation that is also simple. This transformation question that is little bit new to ME paper. See transformation there are some questions which has been asked in, in other papers such as uh, EEE or ECE. But for ME paper it is little bit new but you have to accept that it is an easy question even though it is a little bit fresh question but it is very 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 easy question not tough. So that is why I am classifying this engineering mathematics area in easy to moderate region and you can easily secure 80 percentage which means if 10 question has been asked in or if 10 marks are being asked in engineering mathematics like for example if you are a student of endurance engineering academy if you followed the course structure test series practice sessions properly surely you would have got 8 marks but provided everything should be done everything should be done your effort is required okay right now coming to strength of materials again another important subject and the question levels are similar to max they are easy to moderate torsion question deflection axial loading questions are straightforward question number of questions there are number of questions in previous year and if from our course from our test series there are number of similar question there is one question from thin cylinder which is a good question okay which is a good question but i won't say that it is a tough it's a good question the question which involves like um, a graph okay we need to draw the graph corresponding to the stresses so it's a good question and there is a principal stress based on the most diagram that is also an easy there is a question from bending moment diagram and that is also easy not tough honestly except this thin cylinder question all the other questions are very easy okay so even i cannot classify it to easy to moderate that is why i am saying it's easy to secure 80 to 90 percentage except the thin cylinder question you will be able to answer most of the question so easily you could have got nine marks from previous year question from the test series which we which we given you on the course okay that is that is what soms td it is easy it's not even easy to moderate it is easy questions are from second law direct question that heat engine heat pump question mixtures this is little bit new but mixtures we have covered it in the course we have covered it in the course but uh, generally the mixture of gases question they will concentrate on xc not in me but this time they have concentrated on x me also but related to mixtures there are number of questions in our test series so if you have attended it obviously you will be able to um, you will be able to crack it there won't be a problem heat work and first law there are two questions and two easy questions okay whatever i seen compressible flow question is a moderate one compressible flow question is a moderate one and it is easy to secure 90 except even the mixtures also you can you will able to attend maybe compressible flow is a new area because they added it recently maybe that question you might feel little bit difficult okay but still it's a new area that's why i'm giving giving you moderate but still it is an easy one 
engineering mechanics um, three questions by default it is not there are not many questions from it but three question itself it's a good one right like there are i don't know the marks mark distribution whether it is a two marks or one mark but one question is there from collision which is a repetitive question repetitive in the sense every year there used to be one question in collision either in one paper here there is only one paper so in this paper they have given one question moment of inertia question was there that is also very simple if you know the standard formula of moment of inertia for the rectangle for the triangle you will able to solve it trusses is an easy one okay it's a very easy one okay easy to score eight out of 10 guarantee now going to theory of motions this is again moderate easy to moderate that i center question is a good question that question is a good question because it is a time consuming one it will take some time it will take more time compared to the other question that is why it's a good question so these questions and all you have to keep it at the end not at the starting point vibration question gs questions are moderate only and again here also you will be able to easily secure 80 percentage that is 8 out of 10 now heat transfer i have given three star marks this is a big change in the trend big change in the trend because in heat transfer there used to be one question or maximum two questions every year until gate 2022 but now you could see that right you could see there is a question from shear factor there is a question from a theoretical question based on nozzle number there there is a question from heat exchanger that um, counter flow heat exchanger ec question and there is a question from cylinder this is little bit not tough but this is little bit tricky okay this is little bit tricky easy only but little bit tricky there is a question from lump d so how many questions are there 1 2 3 4 5 questions from this small subject i couldn't believe why this much change in the trend has happened see generally it used to be one or two okay one question or two questions only from heat transfer but suddenly they have added something like what something like five questions okay so this is a huge change in the trend which i observed uh, in the based on the memory based question but if we need to accept one thing the questions are not tougher honestly the questions are not tougher heat exchanger question are also very small question nozzle number direct theory question and radiation also it is not tough directly you can solve with a shear factor and uh, cylinder question is little bit tricky but other than that all the other questions are easier one okay right so this is a small change in the trend which we observed and fluid mechanics i am adding two star because again there was a change in the trend generally fluid mechanics used to be the heat transfer which means in fluid mechanics there used to be five to six questions but suddenly we have very less question from fluid mechanics actually have not seen any question from hydraulics maybe if if hydraulic questions gets added up maybe we will be having three from a fluid but still it is less compared to compared to last year or compared to the previous trend so this is also a change okay but the questions are not very tough hydrostatic questions are little bit lengthy okay that hydrostatic question is little bit lengthy but not tough boundary layer question is simple that simple okay now industrial engineering we see nothing nothing honestly nothing lpp graphical method inventory control also nothing very very easy question that's why i given easy not even 80 you can secure 90 percentage from this okay now manufacturing not tough but there are some M msq questions i seen two msq question but i don't know maybe more than two will also be there two msq theoretical question actually two theoretical msq question maybe more than that okay that is from welding i think from casting also and the change here is additive manufacturing it is a change because that is a newly added topic and they asked one problem from additive manufacturing so that is a change that is a change in the trend again and the other areas are the common areas right farming metrology machining cnc other areas are common areas they used to concentrate on all the areas so the one small change in the trend was question from additive manufacturing but still you will able to score 8 or at least 7 okay leave this additive manufacturing two mark question forget about that okay you can you will able to get 7 or 8 from it if you followed the course and if you followed the test series if you taken all the test series if you done the revision properly if you done it correctly that is important okay if you done it perfectly then it is easy to get 7 to 8 how machine design dead easy okay sn curve theory of failures from the first two chapters the two questions are there and bra breaks that is also an easy one okay easy to score 90 one more change in the trend it is generally it used to be one question only they used to ask from material science but suddenly this time they asked two questions from material science okay and two is one is from crystallography and another one is from ion carbon diagram both are dead easy both are dead easy questions but still it is a new change right because why it is a new change because it is suddenly they are introducing two questions of mat material science but there used to be some paper there used to be some paper where material science will also have two questions 
but um, but generally we will expect one only so there was a small change but but there are few papers for example i think 2017 or 2018 there was two one one mark question on two mark question was there similarly here also i guess this fe that is ion carbon diagram is one mark and this crystallography is two marks okay i i'm just assuming it let us let the official paper comes then we can decide but it's an easier one easier easier questions okay now uh, cutoffs and trend the big trend change which i seen was uh, inclusion of some good number of msqs but i have not shared you more but i have seen some msqs and also and also there was uh, there was what uh, the in the change in the pattern of heat transfer suddenly more questions are there from heat transfer and fm number question number of questions have reduced and other other topics almost similar only and those students who thinks that engineering mechanics is not important don't do that because three questions are there from engineering mechanics see if it is two one mark question and one two mark question okay like one two mark question still you have four marks from it if it is a two two mark question and one mark question you have five marks from it so it is an important subject don't take it lightly okay don't take it lightly and uh, other than that material science okay that is also giving you three marks okay and also repeated topic see this crystallography and fec diagram and all it is a repeated topic repeatedly they used to ask some question from it or else other than this too they might add uh, what is that um, uh, heat treatment okay they might have heat treatment these are the three areas where repeatedly questions will come the same repetition has happened okay and um, other than that other than that there is not a big change to be honest and industrial engineering as i could see the number has reduced it seems number of questions in industrial has reduced and mathematics it is almost similar there is not a much change maybe this only one transformation problem has changed and general aptitude uh, i have not gone through the detail general aptitude questions but i could i could sense that in general aptitude question there was more reasoning rather than more uh, uh, what is that quantitative aptitude okay so that is the trend there was a small change in the trend but i i won't say that this paper is tough this paper to be honest it is easy only it is not even moderate it is an easy paper you have to accept that guys you have to accept that if you if suppose if you are a student who not performed well then you have to accept that the paper is easy it is not tough honestly it is not tough the questions which i seen around 40 45 questions those questions are not very difficult they are moderate level easy level questions only only with the help of previous year question our course test series i can guaranteely say you could have crossed the 70 not easy that's that is what that's what i am saying okay that is from my personal opinion maybe the opinion might change okay my personal opinion this is how i feel okay right now what about the trend sir there will be change because 2021 sorry 2022 the paper was little bit moderate moderate to hard moderate to difficult level so that is why even with the with 65 marks or 66 marks you was you are able to get some rank around 1000 around 1000 in me maybe this time this will change okay maybe this time more students might cross 70 or 65 or something like that so there may be some change in that so we need to wait for it wait for the official response sheet then we can decide it okay so my analysis regarding the paper i have given you all the things what are the outcomes from this paper and the paper as concerned it is easy to moderate it is not moderate or difficult compared to 2020 2022 paper 2020 2023 paper is surely easy okay compared to 2022 2023 is surely easy okay right and regarding us that is regarding endurance engineering academy we have an we have a classroom program and we have an um, online program for gate mechanical engineering gate psu cac barc isro all the exams which are you are preparing for for the technical exams and more specifically only for mechanical engineering we have a classroom program and the thing here is we have only 50 admissions okay that is the seats are limited to 50 admission once if it crosses 50 we will be stopping the admission so we don't we don't intake more like 200 admissions or 300 admissions which used to happen in hyderabad or delhi so if you are a student who are new to our institute who are new to uh, the video new to endurance engineering academy you can go through a demo videos our demo videos are there in the description go through it entirely or else if you want to attend the uh, demo directly in our class you can come and visit our institute was in chennai chennai tnagar or else sir i am not comfortable to visit now then go through the demos which was there in the description if you are not comfortable with classroom program we have an online course also it is a recording plus live and hybrid course 
and if you are interested in that hybrid course also you can contact us and as you already know about me okay i'm not going to say much much about me and this you can go through okay what are all the course spectrums and what are all the details you can go through it in our classroom program our batch starts on there is the next batch starts on 19th february as i already said 50 is the limit and once if it crosses we will be stopping the admissions okay and these are our results from uh, gate 2022 2021 and 2022 and this is a result from uh, the state government exam uh, in tamil nadu and um, like what um, and we are expecting some results from 2022 also sorry 2023 also so let us wait for it but before that if you are interested for gate 2024 or even 2025 course okay two year program or one year program you can contact us okay so that's it from my side if there is any other query related to gate 2023 you can you can obviously post it okay you can post in the comment i will respond to it okay thank you